It's becoming a yearly event. Canuck, Puck, two fans, two teams, one local rivalry. After talking about it for years, the Canuck and Pug rivalry at Everett Silvertip and Seattle Thunderbird games has officially become a tradition. Each year, they choose one game to attend, invite as many people as possible, and watch their teams battle it out. You probably could call it the Apple Cup on ice. Hey, so let me figure this out. Yeah. One guy was a, a cougar, and then the other guy's a husky, and yeah. he met at Central Washington. Yes. Yeah. Go figure, Yeah, huh? go figure. Yeah. The first year of this get-together took place in 2012 in Everett, Washington. It was during this game when the beer goal was invented. Everett scored the game's first goal and Pug bought Canuck a Coors Light. Canuck's silver tips would prevail on the ice thanks to a breakaway goal by Josh Lindquist in overtime. Canuck celebrated by having this picture taken of him with Pug in a headlock and enjoyed bragging rights for a year. Last season, the two went to see Everett play Seattle and Kent Washington, and Pug was looking for revenge. This time, it was Pug who won the beer goal as Seattle Shea Theodore scored on a power play for the first goal of the game. Canuck treated Pug to a Mac and Jones. Both teams played evenly, but a late hooking call on Everett's Dawson Weedall led to a Seattle victory as Robert Lipsburg beat goaltender Daniel Cotton to win it for the Birds in overtime. Seattle won 4-3 and it was Canuck's turn to have his picture taken in a headlock. Pug thought he would have bragging rights for a year, but the rivalry got more intense two months later. Thanks to a sudden surge by the Silvertips, Seattle and Everett met in the Western Hockey League playoffs for the first time. This picture was taken on March 15th at Xfinity Arena, where Canuck saw his Silvertips clinch the matchup. He later posted this on Facebook with the status, Tips win 3-2 for their ninth straight win. I'm 6-2-2 two two with an overall record this season of 8-2-2, two two, but most importantly, Everett faces Seattle in the playoffs for the first time ever. Bring it on, Pug. Go Tits! The beer goals were back on, and this time the loser had to buy a t-shirt with the winning team's logo on it and add playoff stats on it. Canuck and Pug attended games 1 and 2 in the Best of 7 series. Game 1 featured Everett lashing out shot after shot after shot as they spent the majority of the game in the T-Bird zone, but they couldn't stop Seattle's goaltender Terran Kozen. Kozen stopped 37 of 39 shots and the Birds won Game 1 2-1. Game 2 was in Everett and the Silvertips picked up right where they left off as Carson Static scored the game's first goal right away in the first period. But thanks to another performance by Kozen and two point games by Theodore and Lipsburg, Seattle scored three unanswered goals to steal another win. Both fans were glued to the radio for Game 3. Everett and Seattle finished 60 minutes of regulation knotted up at three apiece, setting up this goal in overtime. Man, worked it free of Barzell. Barzell on the right wing boards with a puck for Seattle, spinning, looking to get in front of the net. Out from behind the goal, comes out in front. Puck rolling, turns, fires a shot, rolling, puck on a score! And the Teamers have won it! Four to three! The Teamers take a commanding three games to none lead in the series. How about Matthew Barzell? Woohoo! What a play! Canuck was able to attend Game 4 and watch the Silver Tips avoid the sweep as Everett won 6 1. But it was too late. Seattle clinched the series in Game 5, winning 5 0. It was the first playoff series win for the T-Birds since 2008. With the loss, Everett's postseason drought extended as they haven't won a playoff series since 2007. And of course, Pug was a great sport to work tonight. Everett sucks! Everett sucks! Everett sucks! Everett sucks! Now Canuck must come through with the t-shirt bet, as he will wear this shirt at this year's game. Pug is presently 3-1 against Canuck in four games and is riding a three-game winning streak. Last year, it was Pug who was looking for revenge. This year, it's Canuck who is hungry for the victory, and the person who cannot wait to take this shirt off. It's the sixth rivalry game between the two. See who will celebrate another victory and who will sing a song of shame. Up next, it's another chapter of the Canuck and Pug rivalry between their favorite WHL teams, the Everett Silvertips and Seattle Thunderbirds. 
Hey, uh, nice shirt, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's a great shirt. Blue, the blue and white is very nice. It's white. I don't like white. It gets dirtier easily. But if I got one shirt dirty, it'd be this one. Cause, I mean, you gotta hide that. But but they won last year. <laughs> you really want a victory tonight, don't you? I want a victory. So I want an eight. You know, this is lacking. <laughs> I want to kick the beat the fever's ass. <laughs> Yeah, I know. You better. I know. Did you before you showed up? No, it's Toronto Boston Day, too, so I'm extra hyped up. All right, well, I'll joke you aside. Good luck tonight. And I will do my best. I never yes, back you do. down. Yes, you do. Hopefully, I will win tonight's bet, though. Well, we'll see you we'll tonight. See. All right. <laughs>
Oh, we are reading for your high game. Know the rules. You know the calls. You don't need a second. All right. Up, up. And up. And
So relieved right now, it's not even funny. Kill <laughs> me! <laughs> hey, whoa, don't, don't take off your sweatshirt. <laughs> Try to do with that hoodie. There, there we go. Alright. Ow! 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 Uh, okay. I will. Thank you so much. Alright. 
The Seattle Thunderbirds are back at full strength, and they still suck. <laughs>